one. I think this is going to be a 3-0 for King Gorillas. Really? I feel like... A complete sweep. Because what we... I don't know. What we saw at Alpha D-Res on Payload, like, the fact that they got lucky there was a disconnect on Ignite. True, yeah. Finish the map. And yeah, they got really far anyways. But then, like, even before the disconnect, the fights that they yeah. took after getting almost to the end was just like, why? Some of them... They just... Kango didn't get out of their spawn. Yeah, but like that's, respawn. Respawn. That's, yeah. A, that's a... That's a whole other uh, well, Okay, well, we'll have to see then. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because we didn't... I mean, the defense from... Yeah, the defense as well from um, uh, from Alpha also stopped. Um, uh, sorry, it stopped Ignite Ten, getting past that first. Ignite was three four. True. Seven. Yeah, so that is, that that is a very a true point. Yeah, three and first four. point. Yep. Then I don't know. Three, that is very true. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see though, shall we? There's those pina coladas you had, man. Oh man, just gets me. You got a little tan going from <laughs> last weekend. Uh, so we got Alpha coming out onto the point now. Pretty aggressive, basically going in for a straight fight. Looking at the loadouts, we're seeing, again, a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, basically, two Novas, Meteor, Comet. Damage coming out from both sides. Kangaroo is taking members low. Fu's going down pretty early on in the fight, though. This looks like... A, I'd say this is a relatively even fight to start with, but I... Yeah, this is basically all teams using all of their tacticals. Yeah, it's, much. it was technically a 4v3 because uh, I think it was Fu's dropped yeah. right away to Valpha Dira. So Kangaroo will hold down. on. Yeah, Matt. In the last one, he needs to die. Oof. Yeah, Mad and Sealable going down very staggered. It's actually going to have a big impact on this defensive line now. If Alpha can read this and actually start getting aggressive, or Jewel go also goes down, which isn't great. Um, they need to kind of read this and get aggressive now while they're in a man advantage. There's only two members defending currently from uh, uh, from Kangorillas, so, but they're not pushing aggressively. So this is going to give Kango time to re recoup and actually get back in this fight. Yeah. This is kind of what I saw when we were on Dyson. That they just didn't get aggressive when they had a man advantage. You see some detonators going through, not really catching too much damage from Bitsky. Very low in HP. He's going to need some help to actually stay alive. Somehow he's not being bursted down here. Kratos looking to push out against them. Kangaroos have given up some ground. More importantly, they've had backed away. But maybe they're pulling out the DRS into a trap because the payload has stagnated. It's actually moving backwards. And we're going to see the kill. The first one come through out of Kangaroos. Yeah, so Kangaroo has got a relatively decent hold here. If they don't lose any members, this is looking good for them. I mean, they've got a minute 30 left on the clock. The payload is, I'd say, past the worst of it, but this is a very staggered spawn coming out from Alpha. And I mean, who was that there? Foo's just getting super aggressive on like a remaining member of Kango. They really can't afford to lose any more members at this oh. point. And as soon as I say that, COD goes down. Detonators on top of the payload just doing some serious work here. Leverage to get the finish on a COD sleuth. So we'll get me if he's able to respawn, though. So now it's just down to Leverage and Strambitsky. And you see Strambitsky trying to sit far back, hops on top of the payload here to kind of uh, draw out some more time. But eventually, Alpha d will pass that first point. Yeah, so they are going to get past this first point. And they've now got 2 minutes, 57 seconds on the clock to get it through this choke. Now, as you can see from the last map, they are just pushing up. So if Kangorillas read this and play this right, they should be at a man advantage. The problem is if they start trying to fight early, they're going to lose a member. And Mag goes down. Fu's getting fully healed. This is exactly what you don't want to happen right now. You have a man advantage here. Don't waste it. And unfortunately, it looks like Alpha are going to successfully hold this long enough for their teammate to push the point up. Well, there's two players still trying to survive up against the force of the Kangorillas. Strambitsky is able to get away, create some distance, again, pull some players back, and allows them to actually go for a one-for-one -one trade there. However, Mad's going to be zerged down as the, uh, the man, Kodosuth, comes off the payload here to force the fight. Yeah, and actually might transition to a, a clean second take. Yeah, pulling that extra man just to kind of confirm and lock that last fight in is really good. So Kangorilla's going to have one more final attempt to stop this right now. They need to get on it ASAP, but they're going to lose a member so early in that fight, which is not going to position them well. And this will be Alpha taking it past the second point. Fortune for Kangorillas, they didn't have really a single chance on that second point to pull off a defense. Again, getting caught out. Yeah, great setup from Alpha, honestly. I think that they, that was n nothing against Kangorillas. I think, well, I mean, there was one member that went way too aggressive. They didn't read the fact that Alpha were pushed up as a team and they got punished for that. And then it just got a staggered spawn after that. Really, at that point, you need to notice that what they're doing and you need to basically stop. Let's go as a three versus four. They're fighting before the ramp. They're actually, try to swing around behind them. Here's Shrimp Biscuit who's kind of leading the charge, backing off now to kind of pull them away from the payload. Well, in the meantime, Lover just playing from distance again. Oh, these Novas, the splash damage on these Novas is doing a huge amount of damage in these team fights. Oh, Fu's going down very low. Two members of Alpha also going low. That is going to be three out very, very quickly in quick succession. And that will be Alpha stopped at the beginning of this ramp, which from Kangorilla's perspective is kind of the perfect place you want to stop this right now. Look at Strombitsky here. Oh, going for a little bit of a flank. Let's see if we can stick along with him and tag along and see what he's going to do here. So he's not... My, that's my luck. Yeah. He's not... 
Oh, okay, so we're having a really aggressive push here. The Alpha just basically going straight onto the point. Is that an arc mine I just heard? I did just hear that, yeah. Yeah, I, I believe... damage it did, though. Oh, that detonator, though. Oh, my God, that was huge. That detonator coming in massive from Alpha. This looks like it will be a two for two or two versus two now. Oh, what another kill coming out of Kangorillas. They are going to survive just... This is one man on the point, which does make him an easy target, especially if you're running Meteors, but the question is they need to get this kill. Oh, they baited no. him in. They baited yeah. Leverage in. That's bad. That's not that's exactly what you don't want at this point. See, the payload's moving. It's gone up the ramp now. Yeah, that's part. the hard bit of this is over, apart from the very end. So they really just need to play this safe, maybe get aggressive, trying to go around the back, do some flanking, but they're moving up as a four-man squad. A little bit of spacing to prevent these meteor shots. And as I say, that cold's going down to a comet, actually, not even a meteor. Some, a lot of damage coming in onto Alpha. Now, they do have two minutes, 30 seconds to play with. So them losing at this point is not the end of the world. Although, that said, like, I mean, who's that? That is Dual Game doing some work in a 2v1 there. He's even pressuring now, trying to get more kills. He might be getting slightly too aggressive here, though. Oh, no, he's going to get another kill from the back. This flank is huge. This could be all they need, all they need right now to push this to the end. How is he not being punished at all? He's really taking not that much damage. Eventually, he might be bursted down here, but the payload is still being contested. It's on the grasp of finishing off here, and they've been able to do it. A minute and 56 remaining. Now Fadiraz get the completion here against Kangorillas, where they struggled previously against Ignite. Yeah, I mean, that Nova, I think the Nova's throughout the game doing some work. I mean, the the, the cone damage from that, uh, you could see in some of those team fights. And in addition to, I mean, that you saw at the very end, right? That ability, that single target damage, when you get and get on top of them when they don't expect it, you can just wipe players. And at the very end there, that last kill, I think, just delayed Kangorillas from coming out just long enough to get them to pass that last point. I mean, you saw if... if Duel is able to push like that behind your team and not be punished. Like. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you, and the problem is, I think, as we saw on the second point, Kangarita seemed to struggle to read what Alpha was doing for a lot of that. I mean, they didn't read the fact that Alpha had pushed up with three teammates and that one was way, way, way far back. So they just needed to wait and get the man advantage and then just push as a squad. They didn't read that, so they kind of staggered that out. And at the end, as you said, like that, that flanking coming in from Jewel, just punishing them and then not reacting to it, not being, okay, there's a guy flanking yeah. with Nova. I think there's just too just... much on their plate there. They're like, all right, the yeah. payload's about to cross. We have a guy flanking us. We just. It's kind of just everything's gone at that point. Exactly. I mean, they're trying to rush to get to the point. That's their main focus and main goal. Like, it's really hard for them to look back. Five, so we're going to be able to four, see. Oh, I think we're actually three, going straight into two, the next round, I believe. One. Yep, yeah. should be. Deliver so this is going to be Alpha now setting up on their, their defense, looking to hold this kind of block on the left-hand side of spawn. Now, this is, I think we've seen from almost every single game today, all the teams referring to hold from this. It's a lot of great kind of uh, defense you get from this point. That's if you do come through as a defense, as a, an attacker, you do have to push the pay through through loot payload through quite a open space, which is quite difficult, especially when we've got the meteors coming through. But none of them are really connecting from Alpha. Yeah, it looks like we're having some a lot of tactical, not many tactical, sorry, coming out right now. Uh, you have a lot of ground here. Yeah, this is this is this is dangerous. I think they're. Trying to bait it in for this attack here. Huge amount of damage coming in, though, from Kangorillas in a very short period of time. And this does actually look like it will be a successful defense. So are you sure it was Control? Or King of the Hill that Alpha Deer has won? Uh, as in... Against Kangorillas the first time? No, we don't know. So we maybe know. it was Payload. It, it could be Payload, but I was, as I was saying, I, I had messages to But then say, that's bad for them. As in, payload. yeah, no, no, it could be. Because then they have one of three, potentially four controls. This is what I'm saying. I've had contradictory uh, information being given to me because we've seen, we're seeing them now do relatively well on payload, but I've been told they do better on capture the point map. So this could be interesting because if they can, if they didn't get the payload map in the first game today and they get it now, that puts them in a fantastic position for this series. Yeah, and I think you should just call out who the payload source is now because <laughs> he's wrong. He no. or she. I, I, can't, I can't give away my sources, unfortunately. Was it Poo Nanners? <laughs> no. Mm. No, Toro Bot. Nope. I'm out of players, so. <laughs> anyway, see that Alpha D Res trying to defend. They still have control of the payload, funny enough. You can see Kangaroos playing off towards the northern side of it, and they're actually being wiped up relatively cleanly here. It's going to be down to Loveridge, who's just trying to escape. And it looks like he'll be able to, unless he takes a, a meter to the back. Yeah. And uh, I think that was Strambitsky went a little bit deep here, a little bit too deep, potentially. Alpha doing a really good job. They've got this locked down. They're doing damage, but they're also kind of preserving their own health really effectively. Jewel, oh, as soon as I say that, Jewel goes down, but it does trade with Loveridge, meaning that it's not an awful situation to be in. Mad also going down. So is Strem. And this will be another team wipe. 50 seconds left. If Kangorillas don't get this, they're going to be in an awful position going into the second game. 
or a great position. Depending on whether or not, yeah. one. Depending on whether or not it was payload that Alpha won before. Yeah. It's one or the other, but I mean, you never want to be one down in the series at the start, do you? <laughs> so, I'm sorry. So you're telling me it has to be one of the two modes we have in the game? 30 yeah. Seconds oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds left to go here. Kangaroo is, again, trying to just complete the first checkpoint here as we're on to Fission. And yet Alpha Dira is just not giving up really too much ground. They have all the players left alive. They've been able to take down Sealable Bag. They're looking for a couple more here, able to chase down onto a second. That's mad falling. And there's not going to be really a good attack coming in for Kangaroos anymore because they've been staggered out a little bit. It's just Drembinski and Sealable Bag who's just respawned back in. They need to touch the pay to throw it into overtime. They have to throw someone at it. Who's it going to be if anyone in time? Three seconds left to go. 14. That's going to be Sealable Bag. We'll get on top of it. Throw it into overtime at least, but he's going to be finished off. And the rest of Kangaroos are straggling in one by one. And Alpha Ooh, Dira no, has. They might have this. No, Alpha Dira has got this. No, you're right. They do have it. Yep. Completely wrong. <laughs> I, saw, I saw some damage coming in towards the end there, and I thought it was going to flip it. Defense squad victory. You're making me second guess myself <laughs> now. Completely wrong. <laughs> no, so yeah. I think you do this on purpose. No. Alpha, so Alpha taking the first map. I, I'm going to. Although we don't know, we still don't know okay. if. I'll tell you right now. I'll rock, paper, scissors you for it. Oh, okay. If I win, best of three. Okay. You have to say who the source was. If you uh, win the no, best of can't, three, not, not, you have to say who the source was. Nah, can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, I don't even know if we're going to have time, because it looks like we're going to be getting into game two pretty much straight away after that as well. Is that your phone? Let me see it real quick. Okay. Can I see your <laughs> thumb as well? Can I just borrow that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just, let me just take, take it off real yeah. quick. Um, I I don't know. What are your predictions going into that? Like, uh, I mean, I said Alpha three off for Kangorillas. So yeah, so that's already lost. lost. I mean, but like, do you think Alpha can take the two capture point maps? I'm going to stick with my original I'm prediction no. of 3 1. I still think it's going to be 3 1. I think they won payload last time. Do you? You think it's going to be Kangra to stomping that? Because that was way too one sided of a payload match for them to have not won it last time. I know, but we also. Kangra to V respawn. We thought it was V respawn playing very, very well, which. It's usually the case, but at the same time, it could just be Kangaroos has a very weak payload map. And the... I think Kangaroos just... Yeah, maybe, yeah, but then... It could then, just be that they've got yeah. it, like a weak but map. Then, and the, but then the next four maps, potentially, is King of the Hill. I think it comes down to... It basically... Like, our prediction basically comes down to who won the payload map on the first on the first series. I think it was Alpha. Actually. I think it was Alpha. Mm, we'll have to see. I don't see... With how dominant that performance was, I don't see them as losing the first time. I don't feel like you can lose it one time and then have and then next time have that dominant dominating of a performance. I feel like maybe I I, I personally time. think it's going to go Alpha. Alpha is going to win this. Then Kangaroo is going to pull it back on uh, on combustion. And then Alpha is going to win it again on Dyson. I think Kangaroo will win it three one now. Potentially, yeah. So basically three back to back capture points. Yep. If it's going to go to that, I'd see I'd see it more likely going to five games. I've, Which I, I do find kind of weird. Yeah, exactly. Like it should yeah. be Fission. And then it should be Dyson, Combustion, and then Fission again. And then there's like a veto process or something like that for the fifth map. Surge. Like, I, no, because <laughs> that's I, I feel like the, you... I don't know, because I, I feel like you should reward teams for practicing the new mode and not punishing them by only giving them one out of the, th out of the th I, I, five total. True. I think it could also come down to the fact that obviously this is the only time we've actually done a full best of five series in combat as well. I think all the others have been best of threes as far as I'm aware, um, apart from the LCQ. Um, but... I'm pretty sure we'd have a five in the LCQ. Yeah, there was a five it, in the LCQ, yeah. but it aside from that, it's been, yeah. So in the majority of cases, in the best of three, we've got an even distribution. Well, we've got one payload and two combustion, or one of each map, essentially. But that's it. We're going to be going into the next game. This is uh, not the decider, but this, I think, well, I think as far as we're concerned, will really dictate how the next couple of games go. If Alpha can pull this, then that's going to look really risky for Kangorillas. So we'll just have to see how it plays out here. I see leverage looking for some shots. That's why it's not going upside down from here. I think it's a little bit harder to hit. Yeah. Also see, like, yeah, so we're seeing one tactical, first tactical coming out of Strem, but he's also going to get taken down, and Gosh. so does Mad, and that's after he popped the insta-heal grenade as well, which is not Three, the position you want to be in. Um, that's I mean, a, yeah, they lost the fight, Kangaroos, but they have, all th they have yeah. like, three tacticals. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't see Alpha Dura, so it actually popped almost every single one of their tacticals, which is... Uh, Oh, I mean, for anyone, anyone who's just tuning in now that doesn't, uh, isn't that familiar with combat, um, the point unlocks after a certain period of time, meaning that the first fight usually comes down to who gives up the most tacticals. That late kill on the leverage, though, has bought time for at least yeah. one instant repair to come up, so they at least have some time. And the thing is, if you think about how the first fight went, they popped one after another, so they're yeah. going to have them back up one after another. So technically, Kangaroos really didn't net too much here. Strambetsky playing upside down, this is what I wanted to see. Ooh, Makes yeah. it harder to hit, gives them better angles to play with. What we were saying about before is uh, Strem being a very good sniper. You can just see in his shots here. Like just basically the damage he does is what sets up his team to then take the fight, which is what we're now seeing. Kangaroo, that said, I think that a lot of Alpha had healed up there 
Cod going down, Mad and Sealable also going down very quickly in that fight. Lover's taking some damage, not getting completely wiped, but Kangaroo is now pushing kind of off the point, trying to go through tunnels. I think it's just a matter of time before Alpha chased down the remaining members of Kangaroo. So Jersey, I got some information. Mm. It's not necessarily 100% sure, but I'm being told by production that Kangaroo's won Payload last time. So. But it's not guaranteed. It's like not 100% oh, sure. Oh, okay. So and that's that's what that's what he's well, in in which case, if that's if that's the truth, then an alpha one combustion. Ooh. Okay, so, so if alpha win this, did this one is good. If alpha win this right now, then they are in a really good spot because they've already won the map they lost in a in a in a best of three. So they're already net gain one map right now. So really, honestly, I think a lot of this series comes down to this map. You can see leverage again, trying to play from the backside here, trying to do some AOE damage. Looks like it will go their Ooh. way finally. But again, they had, uh, I, I want to say, a massive advantage in the end of things with tacticals and everything. Yeah. After D-Res' stuff are just coming back up now. And all it takes is just one successful attack to close out the first round. Yeah, and we're seeing again, okay, so actually something worth mentioning here is Alpha's now running two Meteors, two Novas, which is, I want to say, the V respawn staples for this map. Like, that's the ma that's the composition they ran religiously for a lot, a lot of this season on Dyson. And they kind of held in this back spot. But that said, this, this fight isn't that convincing from Alpha. Uh, Kangrel is able to do some damage, now contesting the point as well. That said, as soon as I say that, they are going to lose a member. 21, which is Loveridge now trying to pull away. No, he's going to get back on the point, try and contest this, stop the stop the clock ticking over. He really needs to, though. 86% on the board for Alpha. They can't really afford to give up much more here. You need to kill him right now, because the team has come yeah, back in, and now Alpha is out of position. Kangaroo should be able to retake this one as quickly as that. I know Alfred here is chasing too much without being able to uh, finish Loverage off. And Loverage actually survived the whole fight, by the way. Yeah, that that delay from Loverage actually might have just saved this game from Kangaroos, or at least the first the first point. Um, that was huge. I, honestly, they, you shouldn't be able to survive that long on the point versus two people. But it looks like he's able to do it successfully. That's it. Strem now going out, getting traded with uh, Dual Game. Back away. Back away. Let the point go. Yeah, I, I feel like you shouldn't contest this. I mean, you have three. Rounds. Actually, okay, well, it's working out for him. Leverage lost my life. Well, then again, we did see what he did last time against this, trying to delay, delay percent. Yeah. Someone kill him. Contested. He's still alive. Kill him. Hello? T? Ah, uh, there we go. Finally. 93%. And uh, the, the thing is, other people are here, but they're going to be straggling in yet again. Ooh. Have they have a clean fight. Close to has gone down. Strambitsky and Silvag and Matt all able to chime in. And Capture. Leverage is just a one man squad. He's definitely the MVP here for King Rose, even if they lose this. Yeah, Loveridge is just like, he is the delays. He's like, honestly, we would usually say don't do it because your delay, potentially, if you die, you're delaying your respawn significantly. So your team is a man at disadvantage in the next fight. But if you can survive, you're a huge advantage given the point difference. Strabitsky gets caught too far out again. That was like exactly what happened in their match against v, uh, VR respawn. And actually, it should be costing the round two because everyone's been finished off. And the Alfredos are going to get the first round here on Dyson. Yeah, I, I don't want to say it's been every game, but I feel like Round Strem has complete. been getting caught out a lot. Like, he has been either going too deep or he's been left on his own or he's been pressured too much. But I've seen him go down before the rest of his team frequently in these games, unfortunately. Don't know if that's other teams kind of reacting to it, but I mean, he was running Nova this game. He wasn't even running a Comet, so you can yeah. argue that he wasn't able to respond to some of the pressure. He's the person that should be putting the pressure down. It just might be he's going too deep, or I'm not exactly sure what the situation is. It'd be interesting to see his uh, kind of assists and kills at this point, but that said, they kind of really need to group up and take this these fights in a very specific manner. So actually, they're now running three Novas uh, at the moment and one Meteor, which means I imagine we're going to see much more kind of fighting in these tunnel areas, which as you can see, they're now pushing up in. Um, Alpha, now better positioned in the long range, given that they're running an additional Meteor. But this initial fight, I think, is going to have a big knock-on impact to who starts flipping it first. Looks like... Oh, wow, that's ooh, good damage yeah. by Carter Sleuth. They stopped right in the middle of an open space, just a two-man floating target, really. And this is... Yeah, this is just going to be Alpha basically mopping that fight yeah, up but afterwards. They used all the tacticals again. They have one up for dual game. This is exactly what happened the last round. But because Kangaroos took so much time to get the reattack back in, it bought time for Alpha D Res to get the. Uh... Is that the. I think that's the actually pop detonators. So I think detonators. Like, yeah, so they're, the detonators are actually coming up again. So they're actually going to be back in with their tacticals very shortly. I think any second now, that's going to be coming back up. Same with their heals. Their heals are all about to come back up. So as long as they can delay for a small amount of time, they should be in an equal position to fight this. So uh, that said, dual game does go low very, very quickly. And so does the entirety of Alpha, basically all getting wiped out in the same moment. 
And Kangorilla's, yeah, pretty pretty decisive attack there. They didn't actually use that many tacticals either. They only blew three out of, how many is that in total? Math, eight. So, um, yeah, good position from them. Oh, wait, someone's uh, camping spawn. Oh. Oh. Is that, is that Silver Bag? Yep. And that does not work out for Silver Bag because now it's a four on three. And yeah. it's a long respawn. And now it's a four on two. Four on three on four. Three on one. Three on two. <laughs> Math. I, don't, I, I like the idea of it. But yeah. that did not work out well for them. Yeah, I mean, oh, we're seeing... the chase behind you. Oof. Running through tunnels. He's going to get tries to recover back to his team. And it will mad. Actually, he's surviving. He's, well, he's still, I say that, and he gets taken out. No, but he, the, the delay there from him was valuable. It bore his team time. Uh, Kangaroo is now taking the point. And the onus is back on, oh, this is going to be a delayed spawn. Oh, that's really not good from COD. So. This is now going to be three versus... Okay, there's two on the point. They're just going to go straight for it. Try to get this fight before the last man gets there. Oh, they're going to drop a man. They're going to take another one out. Two for one at the moment for Kangorilla's side. And this will be a, another wipe, a successful defense. Alphadira is just getting a little bit too cocky. Like we saw against Ignite, just kind of rush things down instead of thinking things through and how they wanted to go about attacking. You see, Kodosuth has to be careful. Though. He could be rushed down. He's got to keep track where everyone is. And Kangaroo is going to be taking some damage. You see Mads from Bitsky Ooh. all being dropped extremely low. Strim Bitsky is going to be the uh, first one finished off, though, as Dual Game and Foos is quick to respawn and Alpha Dress his side. So down to a two on one now as the Ooh. double kill comes in for Yatas. And is this leverage? It's leverage. Oh, oh, leverage. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> leverage is buying. It's such a stupid amount of time. We're just yeah. surviving on this point. I mean, it didn't help at the end of the day in the first round, so that's kind of been wiped. The slate's been kind of wiped clean on that one. But again, in this round, although I, I do think that Kangaroo's communication in the last one wasn't great. Going into this fight, Strem again going down first. Going out straight away, Cod does get traded out. Mad also going down. Looks like Alpha are relatively good in health. As soon as I say that, another member goes down. It's two for two. This is going to be a leftover fight. It looks like Kangra is actually giving away. I know they're going back on to contest it, trying to stop this points from racking up. He, yeah, I think he's buying so much time. Oh, is it leverage again? It's coming. leverage again. Yep. The rest of the team's going to be here, and it's going to catch up with Res out of uh, spot, Ooh. out of position another time. Leverage MVP from Kangra is the game. This is mad. You would, like, honestly, you would not recommend this to anyone else, but if you can do what he's doing right now and delay this, continue to delay it successfully, that's a different story. So having Ooh, super aggressive push. Yeah, direct onto that one player, and that one player actually Ooh, is gonna, gonna fall. Out. A lot of healing being used there to keep everyone alive. You can see Fuse, Kodos with everyone just constantly healing up tick by tick. Oh, Cedar Ball and Leverage also good down. That's really not good for Kangorillas. And this looks like it will be Alpha taking the point. This is probably going to bring it even. Well, Fuse and Duel both have heals up. And Yatas and Kodos with still on the recharge. They have a detonator. Oh, they're back. They're back right away. Oh, that was quick. That was really quick. Contested. Not sure why they re-engaged so quickly, but hell, it's working out for them. As you see, the kill feed all going all blue. Just down to Kodosu, just trying to run away. Doesn't even realize Kodosu that his has to back up here. finished off. Has to back up. They've got one more chance. If he, he messes this up now, and they end up losing a three versus four, that's really not going to be good. I mean, he he does trade, though, which is the, the one saving grace here. Oh, another member going out straight away from Alpha. This is not looking good. Fingers at 96 percent. Yeah, they have definitely the man advantage here as they're going into this one. You see, Alpha Dira is just falling by the wayside. 99 percent. Last player will get there, and Kangorillas will take their own round now. Round complete. Whew. Kangorillas bringing it back in the last game. Um, yeah, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. So it's now a one for one. Um, Stop doing that, it's please. <laughs> <laughs> Our sanity. Now. Mentally speaking, I wonder who's going to have the advantage there. I feel like Kangorillas might be able to ride that, ride that win now from that second point. Maybe I, I just, I mean, leverage should be able to ride that. Like, oh, to be honest, yeah, leverage is just MVPing this. Hundred percent. Like they're still in this because of him and how he's been able to. Oh yeah, the Alfred Diaz need to not use their tacticals so early in this initial fight. Too. Yeah, they, they honestly, Kangorillas would be down 2-0 right now if it wasn't for leverage and his ability to hold, um, much more so than they have been already. Because I mean, even in the first round. The reason why it was so close was because of Loverage's holding on the point. So interesting, but yeah, so we're now going to go back into this whole stalemate of which team uses up more tacticals and wins this fight. Um, looks like it's kind of a two for two split. Oh, some big damage coming out of Kangorillas, but they're basically trying to back up and bait, I think, as much out of they can as out, out of Alpha. I say get off the point again. Don't sit in this closed area. Strabisky takes down dual game. 
I mean, three. I don't know. Alphadiro's just letting this one slip. Maybe they're frustrated because of Loveridge. Maybe his stalling tactics have really put them in a bad mindset here because they are looking like a completely different team. Yeah, it's really interesting as well because like, arguably Alpha has like the best weapons to deal with like that last man. Because if you've got like multiple players with Novas, just get on top of him. Like just the two players that are left, just literally grab him and just basically shoot until he dies. If he kills one of you, fine. You still get the trade. It doesn't matter. You get the points. But that said, I haven't seen either team change their loadouts in quite a while. So it looks like, I don't want to say it's like stagnating, but it seems to be Kangorillas are starting to pull this back. This is Strombitsky again. When he's being left alone, the damage he really can do. It's kind of it's kind of a big difference whether he dies first or doesn't die in the yeah. fight. It just completely changes how the way the fight actually goes because the damage he's doing while being uncontested. Well, it's difficult for d to deal with. And now... 32% and counting here for the side of King Gorillas to tie things up at one apiece in the series. And dude, is this round? And now if they take this round, they'll go up 2-0 and be Ooh, one half away from the finals. That's such a messy engage. People going left, right, and center. Unless, oh, that said, I think it was an even messier defense from Kangorillas. Members just split out all over the place. Not able to do anything, but members of Alpha so low that they just get one extra shot and takes them out. Really needs to connect with that shot. And he's not going to... Uh, he is going to do it at the very end. So that is actually going to be Alpha taking the point now. 46% on the board for Kangorillas, though. That's a really good start. Oh, no. They're coming in 2v3. This is a, a risky proposition, though. Yatas is going to be the one to pay the price. The point's actually though. been captured back. Alpha Dira has not really put up a, a, a good defense here. Now they're overcommitted to the fight. They should have backed up once they lost the first man because the respawns are there for Kangorillas. And this should be them taking the point back. Yeah, that's a really messy fight. I mean, Kangaroo just really had to just let them Alpha play into them at that point. It was just a, a super messy engage from Alpha. And yeah, this is probably going to be... I mean, they've got potentially two more pushes here. So it's not the end of the world. But Alpha really... I mean, they've only got 8% of the board. They really need to push this properly as a four-man squad, not get caught out. And as well, I think try and try and focus down one of the players like Strem, uh, which is exactly what they do. And as soon as Strem goes down, let's see, can the rest of Kangorillas hold up regardless? Another member goes down. Seedable goes down, trades for dual game. Mad also goes down. So this does look like it will be a successful push from Alpha. And yeah, as you were saying, see, like if, if Strem goes down straight away, they lose the fight. Leverage this time, not going to contest the point. Does just back away, realizing, hey, we're at 77. He might realize he's pushed his luck a little bit with the last couple yeah, of holds. Doesn't want to overdo it. Well, they're going to go back in for the fight. Currently, Kodos is sitting far back on point, actually. Uh, off point, I should say. More point up against Sealable Bag because they're trying to lure them out in that position, which actually has taken two players out towards that direction, giving them the man advantage on point. It's just going to come down Ooh. to 1v1 of Kodos up win? against Strabitsky. Oh. And Strabitsky will win. And Kangaroos going to get themselves you. ever so closer to finishing this off. And if anything, it's going to be a, a scramble for Alpha Deeras just to touch the point. Yeah, I mean, the fact that that entire fight was done when Alpha had the point gotta go. that gotta the go, respawns boys. are coming through. This is going to be the last attack from Alpha. Can they do it? Getting onto the point as soon as possible. Getting super aggressive. Damage coming out onto them. They're going to lose two members really early on this fight. Heals coming out from Kangorillas. This is That's looking it. like a great hold. And this should be round and game two. Going Kangorillas way, though. Remember what I said? Kangorillas 3-1? That's not what I said. It could happen. Getting of the uh, best of five. But they also won the payload. That's not what I said, best of five, actually. Yeah, they, this is three zeros, so I'm so, still wrong. So, so far, this is a complete reverse of what happened in the first game today, in the, in the no. first alpha Kango. No. If Kang Kangorillas won the payload map. And but, then but, they, but, but then how? Because if they won the payload map, they must have lost combustion. That's the only way it was a 2-1. Well, no. If they won the payload map, yep. and they lost combustion, that makes no sense. No, 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 because combustion's third. Exactly. So combustion... Wait. So the information we're getting in production is wrong, then. Wait, no, what? Brain. Yeah, because if, if they be. got to combustion, can't gorillas, but they lost payload, then it would have been a 2 1 in favor of Alpadiras. They must have won both of the second games then. So this has just gone the same way as before. No, it hasn't. No, sorry, I'm wrong. They so, must have so, lost, so they lost combustion. Alpha, You're right. They lost Alpha combustion. Alpadiras didn't yep. win payload. Yeah, they, they lost did combustion. It win combustion. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So, yeah. The Kangaroos won the two. Which means I don't know. We're being we're being fed so much information that just doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, basically, right? Kangaroos won payload and combustion. Okay, right. So Kangaroos so was Dyson by Alpha Diaz. Okay, so that's what we originally thought, right? Yeah. Which means yeah, this has been flipped because in this in this version in this in the second series, uh, Alpha won payload and but they lost. The problem is we're going to combustion now, and if Kangaroos can still continue the pace, yeah, they'll be up two one, and yep. they went back to Dyson, which you just saw them struggle on. So. 
Yeah, so look at some of the highlights, obviously, from the payload map. Uh, Alpha doing a very good job of holding Again, I don't think... I also, at the same time, Alpha did a good job. But I also wasn't impressed with Kangrillas on this map. I think it wasn't, like... As, as we kind of talked about, they weren't reading the plays properly, I don't think. Like, there was a lot of things that were coming out from Alpha that had a relatively easy response. Like, okay, they're pushing with three, then we've got a man advantage, just, just wait for the team. But they didn't really read into that, and I think that kind of hurt them in a lot of these big fights. Yeah, but Kangaroos also got smashed by V respawn True. on payload. Yeah, so as we say, we don't know whether or not it's just they've got a, quite a weak payload. And they or... won payload against Alpha Diras the first time. Yeah, it's just and then a they big got smashed old... the second time. Each team taking a game against each other. Um, but, I mean, we talked about this as well. On the day, a lot of these teams have taken games each other throughout the season. It kind of makes sense that on the day when it's the biggest competition, this is this is the deciding factor of who goes to LAN, who gets that big prize money opportunity. Um, it makes sense that both the teams are back and forthing on trying to do the best they physically can. I still wonder what would happen if Loveridge wasn't able to pull those off. Oh, yeah, they, I, I, yeah I very much agree. I think they could have possibly, they definitely would have lost the second game and they could have lost the third as well. Yeah, well, so we're missing a player. Oh, are we? So we, yeah, yep. okay. Kangaroos have dropped one. Uh, Man, we're talking about Loveridge. Yep, not there. Loveridge. Yep. He's, uh, he's now trying to stall not only the point, but the game itself. <laughs> Good job of it. Uh, so we're just waiting for him to get back in. Um, as we said, we're now going to be going on to combustion. Uh, and then if this does go to game four, it is 100. Oh, no, game five, sorry. Game five. <laughs> it's Phoenix Lardas. I told you I was the tired one. <laughs> oh, I'm getting there, slowly. I was home for 14 hours before coming back here. Uh, I didn't even have cool. time to do laundry. <laughs> I didn't have time to clean my place. I didn't even unpack my bag. I just literally like opened it, took out the dirty clothes, put new clothes. left my toiletries in there, took the thing I needed Efficient. to shower. <laughs> just don't smell me right now, because I don't think you're going to like. It's OK. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting on love. <laughs> Would you scoot over? <laughs> I'm um, still waiting on Loveridge. Uh, no yep. ETA when he's be back. Yeah, so, I mean, we talked about technical issues. Obviously, we still had the issues with the Ignite game before. So, we'll just have to kind of, I guess, we'll have to wait and see. Um, well, fortunately, it was after the, the round had finished, which is the exact opposite of what you really want in these situations. Maybe he needs to ice his, uh, his wrists. From all the juking he was doing. All saying. the juking. Uh, I'm not surprised. Because he, he was breaking. It, his back's he probably, his, his, uh, I mean, his back's probably ruined at this point, carrying Kango so hard in that game. So, I mean. I mean, I'd imagine your back's going to be ruined if you're carrying a, king, a kangaroo on your back. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's a very heavy creature. Mm -hmm. I mean, Strem, I think also Strem stepped up towards the end of that last game as well. So I feel like Strem, I think, struggled. He was getting picked off at the beginning of the fight every single time they were losing. So, oh, he's back now. So we got, looks like we got all the players in. So should be getting back into the game. Have you had much experience soon. carrying animals on your back? Not really, no. Couldn't say I have. Not, much, not many animals in Jersey? No, no, especially not kangaroos, unfortunately. Ah, <sighs> shame. Yeah. Actually, you're probably lucky. Kangaroos, can, kangaroos are very mean. Yeah. They like to kick. Kick, yeah. Quite punch. a lot. Especially kangaroo like cross with a gorilla as well. What? Kangaroo cross with a gorilla doesn't sound like a particularly fun thing to carry either. Strong legs, strong arms. Lots of animals. thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> and it can carry its baby in its pouch. Scary, cute cr creature. Yeah. Definitely. Yep, so we're actually, uh, yeah. oh, everyone's back in the game. Leverage yep. has rejoined, so we'll be kicking mm -hmm. off Combustion here in a second and just preparing for combat. We'll drop you straight in as we do have things currently tied at one apiece between these two teams. First to three, we'll be going to Leicester in the UK. And we'll be participating for the 20,400 first place prize, but just qualified alone wins you 7,200. And Kangaroos have poised first control here off to the point. Yeah, so Kangaroo does taking the Dyson map does mean that if they can if they can get this map right now, they're in a great spot because they've already won one Dyson game. Winning another, in theory, shouldn't be as difficult because they've got more familiar with kind of how Alpha wants to play it. But that said, seeing an initial fight here, um, I think tacticals, almost all tacticals actually used from Kangaroos. Um, we're seeing, well, again, all tacticals used from Alpha. So both teams blowing basically all of their, all of their kind of time restricted uh, items and tacticals yeah, very early on before the point unlocks. But I think I think to some extent that might, you could argue that that's actually a good tactic on this map, given that how strong it is from a defending position. You really want to get that point as quickly as possible. But we're now seeing an attack coming out of Alpha, super aggressive, just trying to get on top of them. And we'll have to see if this plays out. A, an early kill on Loveridge though. 
Usually the last man standing. First to die this time, though. No, well, it wasn't Strombitsky, so I think True. Andrews can still technically win the fight with how he's, <laughs> he's missing a lot of shots here, unfortunately, as they're able to retreat away. They have a 4 on 3. I was surprised they're actually not engaging on this. They do have a comment on Kangorilla's side, meaning they do have the ability to engage at range. And seeing a super aggressive push, they're punished big time uh, by Kangorilla's. Wow. So they just lost. Well, it's 3v3 because someone sat on the point the whole time. Yeah, and you can look at Stem, Strem here running and gunning, basically chasing him all the way down, wants that kill. Strem now probably going to be looking to set up on his own spot. He's got the Comet, he's got the range, so they really want to try and take us, do as much damage as early as possible in this fight, and then as Alpha are kind of forced to push based on the possession, they can punish that. So it looks like Kangaroos are set up quite comfortably here. Got a two-man stack, got uh, Strem off in the off at distance, and... But it looks like Alpha are going to be pushing as a full team. They're getting super aggressive onto this point now. Moving on. Question is, can they get any damage in? No. Playing okay. it like it's Dyson. Yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling like it's going to work here on Combustion. Yeah, they take the point. But again, they've been kind of surrounded a little bit. They've been kind of baited in by Kangorillas into another fight, which Kangorillas not necessarily winning, but not necessarily losing either. They still have a couple of tacticals up. Kota Suit and Dual Game both going to have their instant repairs to heal up. And they've actually taken position away from Alpha d -Rez. Yeah, I think they kind of gave possession away there in an attempt to get the high spawn timers on the fight. But then they were like, okay, this hasn't worked out the way we wanted it to, so we'll have to retake it. But they just killed them anyway. So it looks like, yeah, so they just, they gave away, I'd argue, 10% of the point, like, basically for free until they realized they, they weren't, like, they weren't able to get the fight. But then as soon as they go back on to cap it, Alpha comes in, but a little bit too slow, too late. Alpha can't keep doing this. They can't treat this like it's Dyson. Yeah. You can't just bum rush the point, expect to win. You people playing from angles, Strabitsky. Playing up a little bit far, not using phase shift this time, takes a brunt of damage. And he's been careful to die. And that's, well, we know how it goes for Kangaroos with he's dead, with him dead, especially the first one. Oh, yeah, and you can see Sealable going very low here. Does, oh no, Mag gets taken out now. Basically, Kangaroos is pulling off here. They've got two members on other sides of the arena, so. Oh, Sealable winning out a 1v1 trade with Dual Game, actually great for uh, Kangaroos here. Oh, does end up going down without getting healed, though, so not doesn't end up as important. These shots from uh, Cods doing some damage, but not enough. I feel like he's about to get completely destroyed from someone behind him. And as I say that, he does indeed. So this is going to be Kangaroos coming in to mop up the remainder of this point. 98%. They need to get on this and contest this and keep on it. Uh, Fu is actually able to get behind them as some free shots. But he's missing actually a lot of shots here, unfortunately. Loveridge is still there. He's still trying to contest the point, trying to stall for some time. Healing's coming through as well. So the response from both teams, but it should still be the man advantage until, unfortunately, Silver Bag does fall on the point. And it will turn back here to Alpha D Res. 71% and counting, 99% for Kangorillas. All they need is just one more fight, and they should probably just wait, Ooh, just this, delay things. This kill, if they can get this kill, this is a really big stagger. They, oh, they've given up. They've kind of needed to push that, I feel. If they'd got that kill, they would have been in a great spot. But now they're going to get pincered, essentially. They've got two players on either side. They're going to leave it as a 1v1 and a 3v3, so... Yeah, they wrecked, they Zerg Strombitsky yes. down. However, caught us with the dual game, have both fallen. Mad, Silver back, comes down to leverage again. I think the only one left on the point. I think Alpha Deers could take this one if they can just win this last fight. This is it, Alpha. They've done it. Come back from Alpha at the very last second. I thought leaving that last man to pin to them was a bad move, but it turns out them rushing the 3v3 just worked out. Well, they killed Strombitsky. Yeah, very early on. They, they actually, they all, I think, like two of them turned to focus him down in particular. Yeah. And when he was dead, they just Hell couldn't. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. So, so trick for beating Kango, kill Strem first. And don't leave Loveridge as the last man. <laughs> Long story short. <laughs> Strem first, not Loveridge last. That, that seems to be the winning formula at the moment. But yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see. I mean, that's interesting that Alpha were able to take this first point on Combustion. Because we know Kangaroo has won this on when they were playing against them, so. Yeah, this is going to be... The series has gone backwards anyway. Yeah, it's going to complete flip. Yeah, exactly. So... And I was seeing an early fight coming out. Both teams, uh, I think, using up an equal number of tacticals here. Yeah, more of Kangaroo is going down at this point. So this will favor Alpha. We haven't seen them with... I don't think we've seen Alpha with a proper defensive hold on this point yet. So it'll be interesting to see if they can do anything different here to kind of have more of a vice grip on this and not let it up to Kango. They've generally been attacking for most of these games and then giving up the point straight away and then attacking again. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Kangaroo is moving up the point pretty aggressively here. They just charge straight in. Again, you can see Kodosu off to the side looking for some damage. Not really, again, hitting Oof. too many shots. He's able to take down Mad, though. 
but still lost down two. And now three of his teammates are just down a duel game up against the squad of the Kangorillas. I would imagine that should be the animals taking the point. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, get him! Trembitsky. Don't they don't kill him. him. Oh, my He's God. He's still alive. He gets taken down. Strem goes down. Dual game holding that point. Man, that was that. You needed to take that. Yeah, so. I mean, Alpha now 25% on the board. Kangorillas are going to be now trying to push into this. They've got to wait for their remaining teammates to respawn. This looks like they're going to go for a two and two push. I mean, you've got the entirety of Alpha Dira's on the point right now. Tacticals are up for both teams. So this is quite a big fight. Kangrel is taking their time though, and that clock is slowly ticking up for Alpha. They really need to do something, but I think they're waiting for Strem to get some damage in before they pull the trigger. Oh, he's pulling triggers, just not really hitting shots. Does connect onto Ooh. one. I think that was Foo's very low, but Leverage again gets bursted down. Shabitsky second. That's still a good, uh, it's a good equation to maintain the point by taking those two down in any given oh. order. Guess who's left? <laughs> and that's going to be Alpha Dires. I think they might, wow, at this rate, they might be able to take this one 2-0 and go up 2-1 in the series. Yeah, so this is looking like a dominant hole from Alpha. And yeah, this is, as you said, a complete flip on, I think, the first game of the day, which was uh, also Alpha Kangorillas. So yeah, I mean, this is just, okay, they, they basically have to get this push right now. This is the last push from Kangorillas. They do get an early kill here. Mad going down, Strembiski going down very quickly afterwards, though. You're now left with Seedable and Loverage. Can Loverage do another uh, uh, another hold here, is the question. Well, we'll find out right now. He's actually in between two different players, trying to dance around the pillars. Does take down Foos. I think he's in a 1v2 now. And somehow this man's still alive. He's still, still him trying to contest the points. Eventually, he's going to be finished off. And I don't think anyone on Kangaroo is going to get here in time. Now, if Adirez will, in fact, take it and now be up 2-1. to one. Orange squad has Oof, Yeah, I feel... Uh, Alpha finding their footing there. Able to really kind of... Get a hold of the game. They figured out the yeah. whole kill strem, kill strem first. Yeah. Don't leave Loverage to last. That's the solution. Although I feel like Loverage wasn't like he couldn't do the same hold that he was able to do on Dyson there, just because of how that point is structured. It's a really hard one to hide yourself on and yeah. kind of juke around. So, not surprised he wasn't able to pull off the same kind of hold that he were, uh, was on Dyson. Luckily, though, we're going back to Dyson. Yeah. So he does have the option. He does. Well, again. So let's see if we can get some hero holds from uh, Loverage keeping Kangorillas in it now. Yeah, and uh, obviously we're loading that one up as soon as we possibly can. A couple of highlights from Dyson there on your screen for you. Yeah, so again, I mean, looking at these fights, Strembitsky going down very early on. Um, and you can just see the kind of follow-up damage coming out again from, from a lot of uh, Alpha. Um, healing huge, though, in a lot of these fights. I mean, you can just see those health bars regenerating slowly and also very quickly when they're popping the insta hill grenades. Um, and obviously, as anyone that's not familiar with combat, you can see those beams passing between player to player. Basically allows you to heal your teammates within a certain range, and you can stack those up to four people. So if you back-to-back -back heal, you have the ability to heal up your team for a very, very long period of time. So uh, it's currently kind of the meta to run a lot of that. We might be seeing some changes, but right now... I want to see it. Huh? That's why I want to see the, the nerfs come in. Oh yeah, no, Make trust the me. the damage stick a little bit more. Every, everyone loved the healing nerfs. It was the, pro the only problem was the Nova just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. So provided the Nova survives the next one, which I think it should, touch wood, um, then we I should be. this is actually wood. I mean, vinyl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if wood makes that. Eh, yeah, I'll take it. Anyway, we should be seeing it's hopefully... It's very sturdy, whatever it is. Yeah, we should be seeing... Fingers crossed, we should be seeing healing nerfs coming through. Pulsar being slightly buffed, because I think as we've seen these games today, we are very... I don't think actually we've seen Pulsar once at all. I don't believe Probably we have. So. I think it's just been Nova, Meteor, and Comet. Comet on like a select person, maybe switching out for Meteor when they've needed it. Alpha have been running, for, I think for the last couple of games, they've been running two Meteors and two Novas religiously. And Kangorillas, apart from that one game against... Uh, VR respawn, where they ran four Novas because they were losing. They've also been running a two Novas, one Comet and one Meteor. So they've had a kind of a mixed bag. But basically everything but the Pulsar. Pulsar's getting should be hopefully getting a slight bu uh, buff as well. Mm. Um, so I think that balance should be really nice. I mean, a lot of players liked it. The only problem was the Nova. So we needed to bring the Nova back because um, Pulsar was was slightly weaker than the others, but it's not that weak. I think it just it needs a slight tweaking. Um, but kind of like that, it doesn't fill. A gap too well. Exactly. Yeah. It if just. If you're long range, you can use a comet. Yeah. Close range, you can use a nova. If you're just trying to hit something because you have bad aim, use the meteor. Yeah. So what role can the? Can well, the I also play? argue that the meteor is like, you, yes, you get splash damage, but at the same time, if you hit the shots, you get the splash and the direct hit. So it's like, it's 
it, and it also one thing as well, well that's worth mentioning is that when you're holding onto a surface with the comet, you do kind of get a laser pointer, which does help with aiming quite a lot. Mm. Doesn't you still need to do the whole thing of releasing the trigger slowly to make sure you don't change the angle of the shot when you're releasing the right. uh, releasing it. But at the same time, it's like, or when you're pulling it even, um, but at the same time, it's, yeah, you're right. It doesn't really fill a gap right now, but I, I think that mid range is like what it should hopefully do with these buffs. I almost want to see like Strambitsky using like, um, almost like a pro tube. Yes. But like just a one handed pro tube. Yeah. So just like bracing it against your shoulder. Yeah, so yeah. that if you release, you have something else to, to help True. anchor yeah. it. It, it, it stops can't. it. Yeah, it stops the extra, extra yeah. I mean, to be honest, with a lot of these players, they've been doing well enough without one. I mean, they've been hitting. There were a couple of games today, especially from the VR Respawn match, where they were just hitting headshots left, right, and center, and getting those players down to 10 health, where they just need a single Meteor splash damage yeah. or a single Nova kill. And usually it's not really Nova because Nova is kind of an engaged tool. But combining a Meteor with like the very edge of the splash damage of, or combining a Comet headshot with the very edge of the splash damage from a Meteor is just a kill. And getting the splash from a Meteor on that one player is usually quite easy because of the range of it, right? And the right. range of the explosion. So it's something that is a very important tool, but you need to hit those headshots. And as we as we keep saying, the Comet is only as valuable as the person that's using it and their ability to hit those shots. So we were told one thing, but I'm seeing something oh. different on the screen. Oh, this could change things, change things quite a lot. We're just... We'll confirm this. <laughs> Control. So what we're seeing payload yeah. on the screen. Yeah, so we're seeing well, we payload. We were told it was payload, then it was it was fission, Dyson, combustion, Dyson, combustion. Yeah, correct. We were not told we'd be going back to fission. Yes, that's that's interesting. So that could that drastically changes, I think, the win conditions here because because Alpha D can win it right Alpha, now. Yeah, this is this is looking great for Alpha then. If they're if they're going back for another round of payload, then Alpha basically is in a great spot here. Uh, would it, be it looks like they're starting it, so I guess we just told the wrong thing. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be going back to Payload now, which means Alpha, I mean, Alpha then winning that first one. Yeah, but I mean, Kangrel has obviously won the first game today, meaning that they can also have capacity to win the Payload. So it's really going to come down to who wins this map. I'm, I'm just, so it is Payload. Okay, yeah. it is Payload. Okay, so we are going to be playing Payload, which means Alpha is heavily favored, I'd argue, given how dominant their first game was. Although we do know that they did lose. They, they lost the first game today on the payload map, so... No, they won payload. They lost Dyson. And they won combustion. No, sorry, Kangorillas. Kangorillas, yeah. So Kangorillas won payload, lost Dyson. Yeah, that's combustion. what I mean. So, I mean, because okay, yeah, they, they were able to take the first game, but then they lost to Alpha on the one we watched. So, yeah, this is going to be... That's different. That's very different then in terms of how this plays out. I mean, Alpha could take it 3-1. Yes, yeah, this. This, is, this is favoring that result. Oh, which Four, I, I, I called, three, but not in this, <laughs> not with this in one. mind. So, Deliver right, we're just going to see how this pans out then. So, Kangorilla's basically holding on that usual spot. Alpha pushing up to the point now, super aggressive. Basically, want to take this fight as quickly as possible. Hyper aggressive from them. They are going to take some damage, but it doesn't look like they're able to actually get anything onto Kangorilla's. They're pushing them really far back. You can see basically everyone's ignoring the payload at this point. It's all about this fight. Who can get another member down? It's a good disengage by Kangorillas. Once yeah. they the fight come in, they did damage and backed away without losing a single player. Yeah, great disengage, really. And they still have, look how many tasks they have available as well. Yeah, so a big group of low health players. They need to keep this damage up because if they leave them for too long, then those heals can really come into play and basically neutralize that. They are going to take a member down. Another member going down as well for Alpha d which is looking good then for Kangorillas. This is a solid hold from them. I'd argue this is much better than how they held it on the first time, first map that we saw from this. Payload so, utilized. question is, Alpha going to be coming out again for a second push? They're starting to move the payload up while they have a uh, kind of remaining member, basically wasting time. Uh, it does get Why are you guys low. running into them? Yeah, so... What are they doing? A bit of a stagger there coming from Alpha, so... Yeah, this is... Stop pushing the payload and hide! Heal! Wait for your teammates! Yeah, if you so die now, you just lose another 10 seconds. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult. I think they've got to wait, basically go in full health, because what Kangorilla's is doing, they're just keeping them low at range, and that means they can't, they're preventing them from engaging because they're keeping them on low health bars. You can see Cod's going low and not the Yatas. They're not really grouped up. They are going to start healing now, but that is going to be a tactical they will not have for a later fight. If this gets drawn out, they will be in a worse position because of it. They're letting them do so much damage for free. Yeah, Loveridge going, this taking is some damage. The problem is they're running two Novas and two Meteors, meaning that only two of their players can do damage. And they're just going to be going in piecemeal at the moment. Kangorilla is just having a very easy time holding this right now. 
only really having to deal with one member at a time. I, I okay. don't know what the hell changed from map one to this, but key, they are... Really key difference here, if you look at the loadouts, right? Kangaroo is running four mid to long range weapons. We're seeing no, uh, Pulsar now for the first time, actually, out of uh, MAD, but we're seeing four long range weapons into two close range and two meteors. That is like the worst composition you want into a long range comp like this. And Kangaroo are just basically just punishing them because they're not getting on top of them. I mean, they try in the beginning, they try to zerg them down, but again, they took so much damage to even get to that position that they couldn't continue the fight. And now the payload's gonna be halted up. If Alpha they don't change the loadouts, so I don't they think they're gonna be able to take many. this. They've got to read this and they've got to switch, like, and they've like they got a member alive. There's 25 seconds on the clock. This guy just surviving there is actually doing nothing. If he gets taken out now, which he does, that's that's almost it for Alpha. I'm I'm tilted for Alpha Demos right now <laughs> to not to not see this and to not change things up. They still have not. If they're gonna get tough and they have to do it really quickly, so the Alpha's able to get there, but not able to get the kill. And they've already lost dual game. There's a person on the payload in the meantime to try to keep this kid push up. All right, this could be a incredibly fast payload, and it looks like I mean, yeah. So this is gonna be. What are the, okay, what if, what would you do, Jersey? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get into a betting mode right now. Oh, God, no, I don't like this. If Alpha d hold King Gorillas for that distance, will you shave your head? No. Will you wax your eyebrows? No. Will you shave your eyebrows? No. <laughs> will you wax your arm one strip? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, if Alpha can hold this, I'll go for it. Yeah, I'll do it. All right. Okay. Shake on it. Yeah, go for right. it. It's been shaken. I'm, gl I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> I honestly don't like. Well, you, you, that's such you a short distance. Said, but what if they don't? And then I would have had to have done something. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I, so, all right. I, so, Alpha Dires, let's see it. <laughs> can you full hold here? Can you keep them back? This is such a short distance. It's, can Jersey it's... wax his arm because of this? Yeah, this is this is rough. I honestly, that's such a short distance. And I mean, they did struggle last time, but I don't know if it's going to be to this extent. Ten, nine. Look what they've got eight, in terms of weapons now. Seven. Beside it off D res on the defense. Five, four, yeah, so that again, it's three, close combat. So Alpha two, running really close one. range. Karankarin is just going to sit at a distance, do damage, and then go in afterwards. They haven't adapted at all. Like that is not that is not reading them in any way. Unless they get super aggressive here, which they're not. They're just holding and waiting till they get close. I mean, uh, maybe they have one like, fight then. Yeah, exactly. That's it. If you if you wait like they're doing now, you are you are putting this down to one single fight and one mistake. I'm like my the map. Hardest with foos. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that is... Uh... All right. Well, cool. five coming up. Mobile. Hopefully we can get yeah. loading quickly because this was not a long one. Delivery yeah, that was... Um... I mean, that is just Alpha D-Res not reading what Kangorillas was doing at all, um, unfortunately. That was... Well, your arm hair is safe. Yeah, it is for another day. Uh, as Kangorillas basically switching up, actually, which is good. We're seeing Kangorillas now changing the composition mid or well, mid-series. And Alpha just—it's almost as if at all. that's what it's there for. Yeah, you know, be able to change your loadout exactly. Mid but the thing is, Alpha just are doing. I mean, Kangaroo is props for doing it, but at the same time, Alpha is just stuck in like we've got this build. We're just going to keep doing it. They're not going right. Okay, let's see what they're running. Like, uh, wait, they're all running long range. We need to do something. Either they need to get hyper aggressive with their two-man chains, get on top of the other enemy team, and just punish them for their ability to not do too much up close, or they need to switch to something long range and like just find a way of dealing with this. I personally prefer like finding a way of like double stacking with Novas and Meteors. I think that's a really effective way of dealing with it because you have the Meteors for kind of that mid-range fighting, and then the Novas just you get on, you just send them on top of them. But the thing is, just no response with their two-two. They only got one aggressive attack off. Yeah, because they kept staggering spawns, and then they just were trying to push the payload. They didn't actually try to do the strategy that makes that combo work. And the thing is, in that situation, you have a certain number of attempts, right? If you get wiped you have maybe three or four attempts off that spawn. As soon as you start staggering those players and doing it kind of that really weird way, you have no chance to reset. You're yep. basically taking those chances away from yourself. Just say you get like five attacks total. If you stagger spawns like twice or too many times, then yeah. it goes down to four attacks. And, and, that's, and, that's, and, and the key thing is that's four different compositions you could potentially run on that, right? That's four different loadouts you can run. That's four different ways. I think, I think in Alphadiris' case, it was more of four chances to make their comp work. Yeah, exactly. Which I think they is the problem. Really to change. Yeah, exactly. And I think Kang what Kangorilla's moved to counters 
Alpha's composition so well and how Alpha have been playing this that it, it almost becomes, even if they're even, Kangorillas just win every time, right? Because they've just got the, the, the counter composition for what how, what Alpha are running and how they're playing. Because Alpha, they, apart from Dyson, where they've been getting super aggressive onto the point, they've really played quite quite reserved. Then they've waited for Kangorillas to engage can on we, them. Can we actually get their comms right now and show this on stream? Yeah, so they're organizing right now. It'd be really cool to see this. I don't know if we can hop in a game and listen to what they're saying. So for anyone that's watching, I don't know if we're going to be able to drop into it. Yeah, it looks Let's like we will be able hear to. Him. Okay, because they were just like, they were literally like, just strategizing on the minimap right there. On yeah, the they, map could, they could well be in they private do. comms there. But basically, Orange for anyone that wasn't able to see that, they were essentially looking at the minimap. So when you spawn, you get the minimap in the middle of the room. You can actually see the enemy players when they actually go into the arena. You can see all the players. But teams can actually look at that and basically strategize as to where they want to position, where they want to go, where they want to rotate. But now, we haven't seen any teams do that strat you mentioned two weeks ago, by the way. As in, just wait and spawn for the round to start and seeing where they go. Yeah, well, I did. I did preface that saying it could be that, or alternatively, it could just be that they were taking their time to, to actually get into the game. I like your first idea better. Ready. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> we, I don't know. We makes it sound more realistic and more uh, strat heavy. Yeah, it's, it is. I, I have seen teams do it. I've seen it happen in scrims, but I don't know. It, I feel like it could also be a risky thing because if you have the opportunity to take some kills and stagger some spawns at the beginning, you really want to try and take that. To so, the point. yeah, so it looks like, uh, okay, so both teams coming out onto this point now, both of them going through. Looking at the compositions, we're now having two Meteors and two Novas coming out of Alpha, and we're seeing three Novas and a Meteor coming out of Kangorillas. So, kind of a reverse back to where they were before. And as a result, Alpha going to take this first fight. Well, let's see. Kangorillas, I mean, they, they looked much better on Paleo last time. I mean, holding them on the first point. Yeah, so Kangorillas, Kangorillas reverted back to their old composition. I'm not sure I like that. I think, like, Alpha haven't responded. Don't switch it up if you don't need to, but they're just going to go for it. Going to go in for this first fight. I'm going to get three full kills. And actually, this time-wise is pretty good. They have literally wiped and captured the point the second it comes up. They did use a lot of tacticals, though, for it. They did, yeah. And Alphadira still has... Uh, but keep... Yeah. Uh, Alpha's got two detonators coming into this, but you really will kind of want healing on the attack and then detonators on the defense because if you get two people coming at you, you just throw a detonator and you just basically kill them before they even get the fight. But that said, some backdoor coming in from Alpha and they're going to be able to get a full team wipe pretty much straight away. Not really having to use anything, I don't think. It's one tactical that they used uh, the detonator as well. Yeah, so... Of yeah, and the Meteors as well, doing some great damage from range there. So we're starting to see Kangrid is starting to, I guess, like group up. They've got one player going through, looking to go through tunnels, I think. Yeah, he's going to try for a flank. Going to try and get some damage down. Oh, he gets an insta-kill actually on Cods. That's huge. His team needs to now back him up in this fight. Looks like Alpha are going to be poorly positioned, though. So Kango will be able to take this 24, 24, 27 percent both sides, or 29 percent now both sides, completely equal at this point. Kangaroo is holding it. Got a good selection of tacticals coming up for the next fight. Three. Oh wait, are they running? They're sorry. Three insta heal grenades, four healing, and uh, one detonator. You can see how strong healing is coming into this. Yeah, especially if they're planning to fight up on the point like this, to kind of bait them in. Shrimbitsky's gone down. We know what's going to happen when Shrimbitsky dies first. Oh, Loveridge is left, and this is the map for Loveridge. He's still there, and he's still holding it. Oh god, not again. Oh god, it's happening again. He holds. Why, why doesn't he just do this one before every time? I just at this point, he, he's just short he's of by himself. What, yeah. What's Foos, what's Foos doing? Is he disconnected? Possibly. Looks like he might be, but I mean, either way, Kangaroo is going to be able to hold this now, and that is a big time discrepancy in terms of like the points they're going to be going across from that. Yeah, but if Foos is disconnected, he hasn't left though, which is interesting. Okay, he's moving. No, he's now. come back in. He's come back in. So I don't know. Maybe it was a temporary issue. I was going to uh, say, if he's disconnected, then they start the next round right after, and then it's like, what do you do when you're down one round in, in the last map of the series? You can see, okay, well, not really much to say there. Kangaroo just got instantly exploded. Loveridge last alive, though. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh, God, no, not Loveridge. Okay, no, he's actually, I think he's, yeah, he's just not going to. Oh, no, he, okay, he's pushing in as soon as they come to yeah, the so point. He wants a quicker oh, God, he does it. He gets a kill. Loveridge, you monster. What are you doing? He's denying the percent, and he's yeah. going to have a They're good not, Go kill stuff. him! Oh. You're running Novas and Meteors, go kill him! He gets another... Wait, no, he's... Oh my god, he's going to hold on to it. Till he, he holds on and he survives. Yeah, what is he... He is single-handedly winning Kangorillas' this game so far. 
I've got no words, honestly, Jersey. That is... I have no words. I mean, complete. props to Loveridge for sticking his neck out victory. over and over again, because a lot of the time he's... Actually, to be fair, he did the really smart thing there of waiting till they capped yeah. it. So if he did and die... Then, yeah, exactly. He had a faster respawn. respawn. He actually played it perfectly. But honestly, he has just carried that game. Like, they would have they would have lost the point several times. They, I mean, Alpha, how long do they have the point? But they have not have a single percentage on the board. I don't think they got a single... I think maybe 1% total Yeah, for that pick. Yeah, it's just nothing, essentially, at the end of that. So, yeah, Loveridge just, I mean, Prepare yeah, just playing that point. like a fiddle. And, I mean, Strem did go down early on, but just it seems to be both Strem and Loveridge have carrying capacity here. If Strem goes down very early on, it's basically on Loveridge's shoulders. Well, he did. And, yeah. well, I mean, the thing is they're not going to care. They're not going to save their tacticals, wait. Yeah. Wait for the next fight anyways. He wiped out. Not a big deal. Yeah. Well, he even hasn't unlocked yet, so you're good. Yeah, not this initial point. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, I feel like, but I mean, Alpha's still running the same composition. Two Novas, two Meteors, seeing Triple Nova and a Meteor coming out from Kanko. Oh, my gosh, Leverage, no. Ooh. I was going to say, is he going to somehow do this again? He's still alive somehow. I mean, he's got decent kids to do it. <laughs> what is wrong with this? They focused Drembitsky down, but they lost two other players. They're most likely going to lose a third here in a Ooh, second. Oh, they're going to chase him down. down. Yeah, this is really bad for Alpha. Capture. Kangos I mean, could win it here. I mean, like, this is the last round. Potentially, if they win this round, it's over. They're going to be through into Leicester. They're going to be through into the finals, be joining V Respawn as well from North America, competing up against the two best European teams, which we'll be finding out next week. Here we go, Alpha Dires on the attack. Okay, so Alpha rotating round, trying to get some better angles to fight this. They're going in as a four, like really piecemeal though. I'm not sure I like this. I mean, oh, that said, Strem's going to go down first of all. We know what that means. Damage coming in, Lucidable and Loveridge. Both getting healed up though. Cod's going very low, does get taken out eventually. So does Sealable. This is a two versus two left on the point. But Leverage is still alive. And let's watch. Danger man. <laughs> Actually, they get enough kills anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But at least Alpha Deerus was fighting on the point, so they do get themselves another potential attack because of the time they did take away from percent building up for Kangorillas. It's not bad in the end to fight from there. They're actually going to engage really quickly onto the point. The problem is everyone's respawned back in. The two players who are by themselves are going to get collapsed oh, on. No. And they just lost another chance to, def or to attack again. Okay, they do get a 1-4-1 trade at the very end of that, but uh, okay, no. Oh, another member goes down. Oh, so it, yeah. damage coming in, but yeah, it's gonna be another 14 wipe. Like, okay, right, we've got another member coming in. Cod's, Cod's pushing up. He really needs to play this safe. He can, if he goes down now, that's it. That is their chance, four finals gone. So he is gonna be playing this safe. Doesn't look like Hangarita smell blood, so they're just going to hold off. But oh no, the rest of his team is going in straight away. Member getting taken down from Kangorillas, losing one early. Lots of damage coming in from both sides. Matt also going down. Strabisky going down as well. Loveridge, the last man alive again. Four Kangorillas not able to hold on to the point this time. He can do it against one or two, but three is a bit much. Come on, he could do it. Uh, <laughs> I want to see him go for it again. What I mean, mean, honestly, I wouldn't put it past him at this point, but... But they're at 76%. Alpha Deers are only starting to gather percentage. They're currently up to about 20. Okay. The fight's coming in. Actually, send two players directly on top of the point. The other two are going to be flanking in front and back once they get collapsed on. And Yatas is going to be very low. Dual game. He get instantly oh healed no. up. And Strombitsky can still back. Have both fallen. Mad should be dying as well here. And Leverage, the last one alive yet again. He's gone. If he can take a player out here, he can usually he can probably hold on to this for a little they bit. They were at 15% when the fight started. And they've only gained 5%. Yeah, because Leverage has been delaying it. He's yep. like, oh, just. It's like, just keep doing this over and over again. Delay the percent until hey, you eventually get a man advantage. This is a great fight for them. They're too much stacked. This is looking good for Kangarilla. Strem bits are going down, but it doesn't matter. That's three members down for Alpha. Loveridge just putting Kangarillas on his back and just walking them to the world qualifiers. 86%. World finals. 87, 88, 90. We need to see Alpha Dires get here to contest, and they're going to be sending one player in from the south. It's going to be Yatas, and the rest coming in from the front door. 94% is going to be held out for now. Matt's fallen, but so is Kata Sleuth. Yatas again being dropped extremely low, but still back has fallen on Kangarilla's side. And it's down to Loveridge and Strembitsky to hold on here up against, I think, the two remaining players. And Loveridge is still alive, but he's being focused down. He's still somehow surviving. Alive. Oh my god, 94% for Kangarillas. They just need to win one fight. That's all they need at this point. Loveridge, I, has Loveridge died this game? I think he might die like once. once. Honestly, it is. I. Point okay, so they're getting super aggressive onto the point right now. They're going to lose a member very early on in this fight. That is going to be Alpha at full four members. Kangorilla's going low, getting taken out. Loveridge alive again. Loveridge and Sealable Bag, but Sealable Bag has no health. Loveridge is going to be playing on the high ground here. He actually does have a player he could potentially catch off. He can hit a direct shot. There's a chance he could kill him. 
going to be tucked away and again applying the pressure from above upside down the two players going to come back in again they're just trying to fight over and over again eventually get a man advantage then collapsing off the back of that for the victory oh this two kills Alfred US, if Foos goes down, this is looking bad. Kodosuth has to hold on by himself up against the three-man squad. And Kodosuth is able to help get Shrimbitsky down, but his health is diminishing as he's being chased. But I think that's going to do it. Yeah. And Gorilla's going to get the capture, 95%. Number 36, dual game. You have to already go for the contestion. And it's going to be too late. And Kangorillas will take the victory and get themselves through to England for the finals. Wow. I mean... Coverage 3-0.